in the early 70s, Deep Purple became really big, especially after Machine Head came out in 1972, an amazing album. Richie Blackmore's guitar solo on his first track, Highway Star, sounded unbelievable, just like Eddie Van Halen's eruption in 1978. In the mid-70s, Richie Blackmore's Rainbow was big as well, and Richie was voted the best rock guitarist many times. And then new bands appeared on the scene, first ACDC, and then Van Halen. They rocked, sounded fresh, and kids loved them. According to Ronnie James Dio, Rainbow sounded outdated with its long guitar solos back in those days. Richie Blackmore's ego suffered, and he was really mean to the fans back then. Richie changed Rainbow's musical direction, tried to make it more of a pop band. He wrote ballads with Joe Lynn Turner, but it didn't go very well. So he wanted to go back, play hard rock again. Since 1979, Richie had been considering teaming up with Ian Gillen again, and eventually it worked in 1984. So, what did Richie Blackmore think of Eddie Van Halen and his band? When Eddie Van Halen was an unknown young upstart, Richie dismissed him, but after seeing Van Halen's success and hearing their music, Richie certainly had great respect for Van Halen and eventually recognized Eddie's immense guitar talent. In 1984, when Deep Purple released their Perfect Strangers album, Richie Blackmore told Kerrang! magazine that he liked ACDC, Led Zeppelin, and Van Halen. I think Van Halen are interesting, he said. I don't particularly like them as a band, but there's a lot of movement, a lot of color to the material they produce. In 1991, in an interview with Guitar World magazine, Richie talked about Eddie Van Halen and called him the most influential player. Here is that part of the interview. Guitar World Has your approach to sound processing changed? Have you checked out any of these multi-effect racks? Blackmore. I don't put myself on Jeff Beck's level, but I can relate to him when he says he'd rather be working on his car collection than playing the guitar. I'm enjoying other things in life, but when I do pick up the guitar, I want to simply plug into a loud amplifier, and that's it. Maybe if I were 20... I'd pay more attention to equipment trends. At 45, you start to go in other directions. I get turned on by soccer shoes. I listen to Renaissance music. Those are the things that stir my soul. There are so many effects and new guitar players, I can't comprehend it all. When you hear them, you suddenly realize that they all sound the same, like Eddie Van Halen speeded up. Guitar World, what do you think of him? Blackmore. It depends on my mood. He is probably the most influential player in the last 15 years because everybody's gone out and bought one of those. What does he play? You know, Charvel, Carvel, <laughs> Guitar World. Kramer with a locking nut. Blackmore. Yes, with the locking nut. And everyone's gone hammer on crazy. So he's obviously done something. He's a great guitar player but I'm more impressed by his recent songwriting and keyboard work. I think he's going to be remembered. He could be the next Cole Porter. So, here Blackmore recognizes that Eddie Van Halen was a guitar genius and great musician who changed the playing style of forthcoming generations of rock guitar players, including myself. The tone he got from his modified guitars and amplifiers soon became standard. Everyone wanted to get his amps and guitars. In 1995's interview, Richie Blackmore talked about fast playing, and he mentioned Eddie Van Halen. Here is the interview. Interviewer, what do you think Richie Blackmore stands in the great parade of guitars? Blackmore, as a guitar player, um, I think I'm very good when I'm at home, but I don't really put too much down on tape. Uh, But there are very many great guitar players out there, technically better than I am. I do have a stamp, and I'm very happy now not to be among the top guns. In the 80s, I felt like I had to be the fastest gun. 
interviewer. When you were winning so many of the polls, now that was the mid-70s, Blackmore. Yeah, then it was Eddie Van Halen, and I noticed that eventually Eddie couldn't stand it any longer and started playing the organ. But the fast style of guitar playing is not for me anymore. I, I don't listen to it. I mean, I wouldn't buy an LP anyway, but when I hear something on the radio, I think, wow, that guy's fast, like Joe Satriani. This guy really knows how to run around. But then I hear people like B.B. King and think, this guy plays from the heart. Uh, but I wish he played more than just three notes and a bit faster. <laughs> In a 1997's interview with Metal Edge, Richie Blackmore mentioned Eddie Van Halen again. Richie was asked, what players did you admire growing up and who do you like now? And Richie replied, I started off with people like Dwayne Eddy and Buddy Holly and Scotty Moore, who played with Elvis Presley, uh, Chris Gallup, who played with Gene Vincent. Uh, then I went to Django Reinhardt, a gypsy from France who played very fast. Uh, Jimmy Bright and Stevie West, Wes Montgomery for a short time. Um, not a jazz fan. Uh, Shuggy Otis, uh, blues players like that. Today, I like some of the acoustic electric players like Adrian Legg. Gordon Giltrap, blues players Coco Montoya, Jeff Healy. I think there was a period where everyone was playing speed and I wasn't too impressed with that. Running up and down fingerboards doing Eddie Van Halen licks. Eddie Van Halen is a great guitar player, but I don't like all the Eddie Van Halen clones. When Eddie Van Halen died on October 6, 2020, at the age of 65, following a long battle of cancer, Richie Blackmore's wife wrote on her Instagram and Facebook pages, My husband, Richie Blackmore, said it best. Eddie Van Halen was a brilliant guitarist who started a technique of guitar playing which is emulated by a whole generation of guitarists. He is one of the nicest musicians I ever met in the music business very shy, and not at all conceited about his ability as a guitar player. Frank Zappa said he reinvented the guitar. I agree. He will be sadly missed, but his brilliant legacy will always be remembered. The ultimate guitar hero.